Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions. Specifically how we can relate fractions to the division operation. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with a simple improper fraction. 6 halves. So I'm going to draw a picture of 6 halves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle, cut it in half, and start shading in the halves. I've got 1 half, I've got 2 halves, I've got three halves, I've got four halves, go and label those here. That's two halves. That's now a total of four halves. I'm gonna have five and six. So I'm gonna have a total of six halves here. Question is, is how many holes do I have? Well I've got one, two, three. So six halves is the same as three holes. That's something we know, but you can also do that if you treat your fraction as a division problem. So let's take our fraction and we're going to tip it over on its side to the right. So we're going to tip it this way. What we're going to do is we're going to take our denominator 2. That becomes our divisor. We're going to turn it into a long division problem. Our 6 becomes our dividend. And so 2 goes into 6. Well, that's a simple fact. 2 goes into 6 three times, just like we have with our picture. You can also tip it the other way to use the horizontal division. So let's tip it over this way. So your 6 is still your dividend. You're going to divide it by 2, which is your denominator, or in this case your divisor, and you are going to get 3. So there are now three ways to show a division problem. You can now show it a horizontal division like this. You can now show a division problem as long division like this. But you can also represent division as a fraction, whether a proper or improper fraction. Let's look at another example. We've seen how fractions that are improper can be turned into division problems. But what about proper fractions? Let's take 3 fourths or 3 quarters. Well, remember, that is a representation of a division problem. If we flip it on its side to the right, it becomes a long division problem. So we have 4 into 3. If we wanted to do it sideways, we can do 3 divided by 4. But it's going to be a little bit easier to look at it as long division. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like it's just a regular division problem. 4 goes into 3 0 times. But if we add a decimal and add a 0, we are going to get 30. And now we can do some division here. So 4 goes into 30 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Not quite there. We have a remainder of 2, and I don't want a remainder, so I'm going to add another 0. You can keep adding zeros after decimal because you change the value. And 4 goes into 25 times, and that's going to give us our answer of 0 0.75. So 3 quarters or 3 fourths is the same as 75. And think of 3 quarters of 25 cents each. 3 quarters makes 75 cents. And so that is why if you have any kind of fraction, whether it be a proper fraction like 3 fourths or an improper fraction like 10 fifths, if you want to turn that into a decimal, all you need to do is divide up. That means you flip it over on its side. So let's take 10 fifths, and you divide the denominator into the numerator. Just like we did our 3 fourths, we divided the 4 into the 3. So 5 is going to go into 10 twice. And so 5 goes into 10 twice, and 10 fifths is going to make 2. So fractions are simply division problems that we have not finished. Now it's time for you to try. We have two fractions here, a proper fraction and an improper fraction. Go ahead and pause the video. Change both of those into decimals by dividing up because fractions are simply division problems that you have not finished. When you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. Hopefully you found that four fifths when you finish that out actually is 0 0.8 or 8 tenths, and 12 thirds is actually 4.